how is this guy? But in this fight with Sean, he's a guy who's like a football player, come head on, so it's gonna be a great fight. Are you gonna see you in Saudi Arabia saying, let's go champ? 100,000%. Let's what go is, champ. What's AJ gotta do in the rematch? Let's go champ. What's AJ gotta yeah. do different? I know you know both guys. Say that one more time. What's AJ gotta do different in the rematch? I know you're friends with both. He gotta get on his toes. He gotta be able to dance. Like okay, this. he got the move. He gotta be able to move like that. Okay. He can't dance. He ain't gonna have no. Yeah, he gotta dance, champ. He gotta dance. You think when we okay. stuck up on him, you think it's gonna be the same thing? Just a, a different country, same result? No, I think that, um, I think Louise. Whereas, you know, he wasn't really training for Weez. He was mentally focused on Miller. Miller had pushed him. It was static there. And then the jump in with Weez wasn't the best to move. I wouldn't have picked that fight because we all know it was a dangerous fight. And plus, the fight with him and Parker could have been a draw. So why you go after a guy like that? All, all those in boxing knowing he was a dangerous guy was bad matchmaking on the side of Eddie Hearns. And now hopefully he can rectify that. But if he can't, he still got something left in the tank. It's just who could beat Ruiz at top? But I'm worried about Ruiz, to be honest with you, as a fan and a friend, because I've been on him for quite some time. Was he, he changed? Since he got the belt? I hope no. not. He so, looking good. So he looking good. Style, he he I hope not. The European style that he has, Joshua has, do you yeah. think that's going to be a factor? Because I don't think he's facing any like American fighters. Chad, I'll, I'll say that's a question. He, he didn't watch the first fight. Okay, you watch the first fight? No, nah, he's pressing the chat. Now he's going to have to use that jab. He's going to have to be like Ali. Keep him out there. Hey. <laughs> you see that jab? Yeah. You know, I did him with that jab like that. <laughs> Keep him on the outside. Keep him on the outside with that jab. If what does Wilder jab. need to do in the Luis Ortiz rematch? <laughs> to get the work. <laughs> get the work, champ. <laughs> nah, I like, I like Ortiz in this fight. As far as a, a, a southpaw, a strong old fighter that's going to get in there and mix it up. But you know, Wilder on the winning streak, everything he touches, he's putting to sleep. He's confident right now. When a man keep cracking shit wide open, he just get more and more confident. You know what I mean? So, we're going to see. It's going to be easier with him being the second time in the ring with him? Excuse me, champ? It's going to be easier since he's the second time he's seen him? I wouldn't say that, but it might be. You know, we're going to see. Obviously, we got the Aero Special for the fight yes, at, at Staples this weekend. Yes, champ. Six weeks from now, we got KSI Logan Paul. Talk, talk to us about your involvement. What you think of that uh, of that uh, event? I'm training. I'm training Logan Paul. Today's our second uh, second round, second day of sparring. He did five, four or five minute rounds. His second day, he in phenomenal shape. I'm only giving him 30 seconds break. The only thing right now with him is worried about him overtraining, so I gotta pull him back. He wanna do, he's an athlete. He wanna do everything hard. He wanna sprint, he wanna run distance, he wanna train every day. I gotta tell him, champ, it's like a cake. We gotta bake it right, you feel me? We can't overcook it. <laughs> Let's go, champ! <laughs> He's taking the phenomenal. I mean, you know, he uses head your head get now, but in the fight, we're gonna have ten ounce gloves. I really, I honestly feel sorry for KSI because this ain't nothing like to play around with. This is pro. We got little gloves. We're gonna have a great tan wrap. We got me in the camp. I'm serious. All I bring to the thing is the intensity. I want. I tell him I want to see blood. I want to see bad intention. Every every punch, I want to see blood and shit. Excuse my language. <laughs> so, uh -huh. so you love him, Paul? Is a professional hype man? You name it. <laughs> why Let's you, go, champ. Why you posting that picture of KSI on, yeah. with the, in the yeah, fight? Yeah, yeah. Let's go, champ. You he see his trainer twirling me out, right? Yeah. yeah. He said he want to knock me out. And Eddie Hearn trying to set up. Eddie Hearn will do anything to sell a ticket. Ain't gonna say <laughs> Even have me kill somebody. <laughs> <laughs> what did you think of Tyson Fury's last fight? Uh, I didn't see much of it, but I did see um, the guy was a veteran. The guy was standing with him. And, you know, Tyson ain't that big of a puncher, so... He was able to box and do what he did. Like I said, it was a big cut. I thought it would have been stopped in any other fight, but he got locked right with him. The lineal has a champion, a big fight coming up. So I understand. And uh, we're going to see what happened with him and Wilder. Shannon, because the media and maybe the boxing fans that are criticizing the KSI Logan Paul event, you know, we're going to have Billy Joe on the, on the car. We're yes. going to have Devin Haney on the, on the car. Yes. Why else should fans tune in? Let because, because listen to this, guys, and this is a great, great question, champ. The reason is because these kids don't know boxing. These YouTube kids, these these Instagram kids, they don't know boxing. They telling me on, on, on social media, they got to go knock me out. And all this, they don't understand boxing. But guess what? These are the future boxing fans. Now, now, this is a whole new base of, of, of army of new future boxing fans that's gonna make your job even better because more people are gonna wanna read, more people are gonna know fine about it. This is their introduction to boxing. We got a whole, Logan Paul has 64 million people following on YouTube, right? And, and 16 million on Instagram. They wasn't boxing fans yesterday or the last month or the, before the last fight. They boxing fans now. So guess what Eddie Hearn did? He was smart. He jumped in quick and said, let me get a piece of this. These are new fans in the future. Ten years from now, they're gonna be watching boxing. Fifteen years from now, they're gonna be watching because they already got their first spot. So this is a blessing for us, y'all. It's the card blessing. over to reporters. But you want to jump on the card? You want to fight? Money, right? Money, right?
Mama's <laughs> Campion. Mama's Campion. Did it. All right, y'all. Listen, it's going to be a great fight Saturday night. Yeah. Let's go.